Kevin Sidebottom here, speaker, author, and trainer. And I go around and I teach sales organizations and leadership teams how to grow business and trust and influence with their teams and their customers. That generates higher profits and more revenue for the business. Today, let's talk about why we need leadership and motivation in business. Well, why do we need those things? Well, think of it this way. If you didn't have a captain on a sailboat, and you guys were all sitting out on the water, and nobody knew where we were going, and nobody knew who was going to do what, how fast do you think that boat's going to go? It's not going to go very fast unless someone takes the initiative to lead the group, chart the course, and say, hey, we need to go here, and here's why. So in business, we need to have leadership and motivation in the business so that people are going forward and moving to grow. If we don't, well, we're not going anywhere just like that sailboat and business is done. We should just close the doors. So we need to have leadership. Well, what does that look like to us? How can we grow our leadership? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. and We're going to show you how to be self-motivated and what you can do. Okay, let's get started. Now we need to understand that we're leading in some capacity somewhere, whether it's in our home, whether it's at a church or an organization, a nonprofit that we're involved in, maybe we're coaching Little League. We're leading. And just like the leaders of business, we need to constantly be growing ourselves. That's right. We need to value ourselves so that way we stay motivated. And we need to make that a goal for ourselves to constantly be growing. Because if we're not learning, we're not growing. And if we're not growing, we're dying. So we need to constantly be growing and putting new tools in our toolbox to help us grow. And that takes a lot of motivation because you don't just naturally gain all this stuff. I have yet to see a natural burn leader. It takes somebody to grow. I've never seen a salesperson being the best salesman in the world just right out of the birth canal. No, it takes time and it takes drive and it takes effort to do so. So we need motivation because we need to motivate our team for our cause. We need to lead our team for that cause. We have to cast that vision so everybody can see it and move forward with us. So how do we go about growing ourselves. Well, let's talk about that. First thing we need to do is invest in ourselves. Think of ourselves and our learning as an investment, not a cost. We need to invest in ourselves at least once a year by doing a conference or a training. That's right. We need to learn new tools. By doing so, we're going to go and learn something new that's going to help us move forward. We should probably do that with our team. We need to do that together. Because if we do stuff together, we gain trust and influence, speed goes up, cost goes down. So how do we do that? Well, we pick something. We say, hey, in six months we're going to this leadership team. We got a budget for it so we can pay for it. And we want to learn. Now we go through this training and it's fantastic. And they give us tons of different insight. But we need to sit down and actually do a debrief. Yeah, we want to sit back learn all like look at everything that we learned and say what can i apply today what's one thing i can take from this and apply it to myself to grow myself if you really need to think about this if you ever read the book the tortoise and the hare the tortoise always wins it takes small incremental steps where the rabbit takes off and has to stop he runs fast takes a nap runs fast eats he does all these things but he's inconsistent and he loses the race. The tortoise keeps one foot forward, keeps driving, and makes those small incremental steps. So we're going to do that. We're going to take a debrief, okay? And we're going to learn about something new. What are we going to apply? And we're going to put it into an action plan, and we're going to apply that one thing that's going to help us move forward. Now, I often say you need to supplement either doing the conference or the one training a year, by also reading books. That's right. The boring thing that has a whole bunch of words on a page that we dreaded since school. Well, most of us. 
Some people really love learning, and those are the most intelligent people you ever meet because they're learning because they want to. We need to be doing that as well. And now, I read about 12 books a year consistently for about a decade by applying this one principle. Read 10 pages a day. That's right, 10 pages a day. We do that, we can do 300 pages in a month because typically every month has 30 days. Well, most business books and all these training books are about 300 pages, give or take a few pages. So we can actually achieve this. Now, if you're just starting out, do a book a quarter. Map it out. How many pages do you got to read? How many days will it take? So you can do those small incremental steps. Because by doing small incremental steps, it's not like trying to climb you know, the point of Mount Everest in one step. It takes time. We need to make sure that we're doing small incremental steps to stay motivated. It's kind of like working out and training for you know, a triathlon. You just don't show up and do it or you're going to fail. We need to keep practicing, learning and growing, learning and growing and putting those tools. And then we want to take one aspect of each of those books and apply it. That's right. They have tons of concepts in those books, but what's one thing you gain from the book that you can apply to your life? Just take one thing. Now you start adding all these things to your life and over time, you're going to do better. So we need to have leadership and we need to be growing in that capacity. I often say, go lead a group. Yeah, whether it's a church group, little league team, whatever it is, go out there and lead that group. Just kind of get your feet wet. Go out there and do public speaking if you need to, to help grow your capacity if you're already leading groups. Find one next step you can always take to grow yourselves, okay? By doing so, we will become the leaders we need and we're going to be showing people how to be motivated. We're going to motivate ourselves. And if we can motivate ourselves, we can motivate other people. But we need to have motivation and leadership if we're going to succeed as an organization, as a team, as anything. We need to be working together and we need leaders. All right? Hope you liked this video. If you did, hit like, subscribe, share it with somebody that this might add value. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I got my information down below. We'll see you next time.